some coffee. I'm loving these cups. They're so perfect for like the iced coffee at home or on the go. That's really what I wanted. You guys notice I have the um, disposable like plastic cups with the uh, like sippy lids. Yeah, these are just like the perfect iced coffee cups or whatever. I only bought two. They sell them in two packs and four packs, but I really, I really like this. When I'm in a rush, I don't froth and I always regret it because the frothing of like the cold foam situation, it's so good, you guys. It like makes such a difference. We're just gonna add a little bit of syrup. I'd be surprised if that was a tablespoon. I know, I know. I bought yet another flavor of this. It's in, it's in there. Caramel one? I guess there's vanilla, sweet cream, and caramel. And it's, I'm gonna stop talking about it, but it's good. And then you're gonna give it the old swisheroo. So I never really wake up hungry. Today was an injection day for me. It's not quite nine o'clock yet. And I'm super glad that I, I'm feeling hungry right now because um, on this day particularly, I really like to make sure I like hit all my goals. Dude, those flowers are freaking beautiful. They just keep getting prettier and prettier. Yeah, I like to try to make sure to hit all my goals because I think it helps to not uh, deal with like the side effects and stuff. I never did get those burps again. That was just the one time. That was like, that was like two weeks ago actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna make, you know what's funny is it, one thing that I've noticed is that I just have a lot of food aversions. It very much reminds me, if I'm having any kind of side effect, the side effect reminds me of being pregnant. If I'm feeling a little nauseous, it reminds me, it's not like a regular nausea to me. It's like the way I used to feel nauseous when I was pregnant. When I get really, really tired, it's the same feeling I had when I was pregnant, when I, it was like this, this overwhelming tiredness that you started and ended the day with. And it doesn't last. It only usually is the day after injection. So we'll see tomorrow if I walk around and acting like I can't freaking keep my head up. But, um, and then the same thing like food aversions, like chicken and eggs right now. <sighs> Barf, bro. Uh, my brain wants to have eggs. And I think the only way I can handle them is if I hard boil them. But to actually eat an egg, last week I probably managed to get down like half an egg. I, every time I made it, I couldn't bring myself to eat it. Um, it was just grossing me out. So yeah, just the, it reminds me so much of being pregnant. Except like there's no, there's no baby in here. It's just a baby in here. <laughs> there's no baby in my brain either. Anyway, here's our, uh, here's our cold foam. Look at it go. The camera wants to keep moving. It doesn't want to focus on my coffee, but she's a beauty. I overdid it. I always overdo it. And then I just kind of drink it down a little bit. Oh, so good. Dude, being able to make your own like coffee house style coffee at home, crazy. Yes, obviously I spent money. I spent money on the syrups and um, I, you know, the machine was an investment. I think I got mine for just shy of $600 total, I think. Don't quote me on that. It could, but I feel like I spent around 500 and something and that was a while ago now and I just feel like it was an excellent investment for me because I go and get well, me and my mom went out for coffee the other day we got two mediums we got a chai latte and like a regular a regular latte like two medium lattes and it cost me $19 and I'm like there's no way that I haven't definitely saved money right <laughs> Tell me there's no way I haven't saved money. Because now I only go out for coffee for the vibes of going out for coffee, for the ambiance, for you know the, the moment of sitting down and having a cup of coffee with my kids or with my mom or with whoever. Um, I just know that this has gotta be saving me a ton of money doing it this way. But also costing me a lot of money because it's not the cheapest habit. But I could be on drugs. Well, I am actually on drugs. As beautiful as it is over here today, we're gonna go sit in the office because we haven't sat in there in forever. I, not me already forgetting that I'm hungry. Uh, I'm gonna make a piece of toast. How do you add protein to toast? Crap. Bacon? Would it be weird of me to eat a burrito for breakfast? No, right? I'm gonna eat one of those real good burritos. Because what is breakfast except the meal you eat in the morning? I'm gonna eat one of these. A chicken and pepper jack burrito. Okay, not feeling my best today. I managed to get work done until about noon. So that's not bad, that's, it was a solid six hour day. And then all of a sudden, like from one second to the next, I started feeling real bad. Um, my stomach started to hurt, I was real nauseous, cramping, stuff like that. So I just, I knew I had to go lay it down because there was nothing else I was gonna be able to do about it. So I just got up, it's been about two and a half hours and I just had some bread 
and um, Nell's leftover soup from like a week ago. I hope I don't regret that. <laughs> we'll see I am about to leave though and uh, I just hope I like feel fine you know while I'm gone because it's like a 40 minute drive at least actually it's gonna be like rush hour so I mean not that we have rush hour but it tacks on like 10 minutes um you know so I'm gonna head out but it's like a 40 minute drive and then obviously the competition and that takes like an hour and a half two hours depends depends and then um and then obviously another 40 minutes back so I'm not gonna be back for a while I haven't prepped dinner normally on their competition days like their meat days I prep dinner so that once they get home they can just you know it's basically ready but uh, I did I couldn't so today might be one of those days I don't ever plan for us to have dinner like out of the house I just let it happen when it happens so I might take them through Jimmy John's or something. Oh, it feels so nauseous. I know it's from upping the dose. I know it's because I took the, the injection this morning. I don't normally take it in the morning, uh, but I was filming myself doing the injection. And uh, so I, I'm not gonna film that at 10 o'clock at night. That's not, not my style. I don't like filming with people around. <laughs> this reminds me of being pregnant too. I'm just trying to like settle my belly. I You know what? I need some like anti-nausea remedies on you know on, on on injection day i definitely i don't feel my hottest but it doesn't it doesn't last the whole day so i'm you know i'm not really not gonna complain about it because it you know side effects happen but we need to get out of here i just don't want to like feel like i'm gonna throw up in the car because i will i could tell that if i would have thrown up like this it wasn't like a Pretend not, so I was like legit. It was gonna happen. Um, and then I just stupidly ate a, I mean, I ate, it was like three quarters of a cup of soup. So not a whole lot in here, but enough. Dude, bruh. I'm glad no one came with me because I don't think I have it in me to be a conversation lady right now. Yeah, not feeling super duper hot at the moment. Do you know what this is? It's socks, obviously it's socks, you know that. But do you see the little grippy poos on the back? Do you see the grippies, the grippies? I am entering my Pilates girl era. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these ones in the car in case I like forget them at some point. Cause I'm pretty sure they're $20 if you buy them at the studio. And no, <laughs> not for one pair of socks. But I can't even, they're, those are glorified hospital socks, okay? Not the kids with the come from behind victory. I'm because not gonna lie, I was getting a little stressed a out because of a toss up. And then And then else. it ended up being they ended up randomly like the questions are hard as hell. Okay. Also, we have the two sports kids on the team. Yeah, at and the right time. The questions the are chiefs. The questions are so hard. You know what makes them harder is that you can't see them. You have to listen to him and while he's like, Okay, you and have you, a, can only you have a triangle with a hypothenuse. <laughs> I don't even know what he says. Oh, of, of X to the two to the, you know, 17th power plus, you know, whatever. And then he reads it like that. Like, that's the speed. It's just, First okay. Spell. Yeah, your teacher's better. Yeah. It's like, okay, spell legislation. Legislators. Spell arbitrage. Spell Jamaica Raj. I know. And they nailed it. Anyway, Jamaica. come from behind. They were literally trailing the entire time. Until the very end. Until the very end. And then there was a freaking Kansas City Chiefs question, like a four parter. Also, you I have that toss up one. And, they, and, and she got that Henry VIII toss up. Like, and I will wear who Patrick Mahomes is. He's the, the quarterback. Team. Yeah, I got two of them, I think. Also, that Indiana Jones one, it was the He's dial of destiny. This is a. Not the first, not the first the, ever. The 2023 the one. The false one's raised as the lost dog. The 2023 one was Dial of Destiny. Oh, but you weren't in for that. No. And um, I knew. I like, knew it's crazy though, guys. Besides the director one. Tie -in, I think I knew and I knew that he was a tie-in because a ton of Swifty stuff keeps coming up. I'm like, You're, what are you calling him? He's a tight end, is he not? Oh, a tight end. Yeah. I thought you were saying Titan. Okay, I'm going to feed yeah, these people and go end. home. My belly's still killing me, about, so um, I'm just, I'm ready to go home and go Mimi's. Hi. Um, I just rolled up to this Pilates class place. I'm early. My um, my housekeepers came, and so I like to get out of their hair. I intended on leaving early anyway, though, 
I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I, I th probably told you I got really super nauseous the whole day. I went to sleep super early, but even laying in bed, I had to like keep doing my breathing exercises and stuff so that I wouldn't throw up. And all night long, that pretty much went on. Anytime like me or Lewis shifted or something and I like woke up, um, immediate nausea. And I was like, okay, this is wiggity wiggity whack. <laughs> and then I woke up and I felt that way too. And um, yeah, so I'm up though. I'm up and at them and not feeling 100%, but I don't want to miss this. But yeah, I didn't want to like cancel this. And I've always wanted to do classes. I'm at Club Pilates. I've always wanted to do classes, and so this is like a reformer Pilates class where like you're on the thing, you know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've just seen it online. I've never done it. Uh, but I was very interested in like taking classes and doing, you know, stuff this year. And uh, Candace does it. Remember I went on a little coffee date a few weeks ago? And I told you guys about it. Yeah, so she does this. So she's going to meet me here. And I'm going to join her in her class that she's going to do. So um, I think that's all I really need. I just need, like, a buddy to go and do these kinds of things with. I'm excited. Like, if I like it, maybe I'll consider, like, a membership and see if I can do, like, once a week or twice a week. I think that one's kind of expensive, though. But we'll see. I mean, if it's if I like it and it's good for me and it makes my body feel good, then for sure it'll be worth the money. But, um... If not, then we'll figure something else out. Do any of you guys take any, like, fitness classes? Like, my cousin right now, I see her taking a ton of Zumba classes. And I'm like, I used to do Zumba way back in the day. I feel like when Zumba got first super crazy hot, I feel like in the early, like, 2010s, I feel like it had its moment where it got crazy hot around here. And I did Zumba classes, and it was fun. Like, you really sweat your booty off, girl. Um, I know I need to put my hair up, but because of the nausea... I don't want to do it too early. Oh, yes. This one's pretty stretched a little. I didn't want to do it too early or I was going to give myself a headache. But, yeah, if you guys do any classes, tell me what they are. Because I hear people talk about orange theory. I don't know what that is. I'm going to be honest with you. In my brain, I think... In my brain, I immediately think smoothies, okay? Because I think I, I go like Orange Julius and I'm like, oh, this is literally a smoothie making class. But I'm pretty sure it's a workout class. Yeah, so we're going to go in there and we're going to... We're gonna do what we can do, okay? I'm hoping that the, the nausea will like subside a little bit. I'm drinking one of these um, Elani's. It's the peach flavor. It's the little half size one, so it's only eight ounces, but I'm struggling to get it down. I did bring a water. She told me to bring water and grippy socks, and I actually have grippy socks on, but these are the ones that I'm gonna just keep in the car. I don't know how I've never seen this Pilates place before because this is a literal, this is a freaking noodles and company and a Smoothie King that I bring my kids to after their dentist appointments and their orthodontist appointments because they need soft food or it hurts so bad that they just want a smoothie and boom they're both right here and literally the Pilates place is next door it's just how unobservant I am oh speaking of unobservant I was reading a book uh that Mariana Sabata book and it was a it was a book wait for it and the girl goes to the bar and she's like drinking with her friend or whatever and then the guy they're like not together at this point but like it's clear that he's live laugh loving this girl he's 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 kind of getting into her and she's kind of getting into him kind of thing and they're like almost ready to admit it and uh she's drinking at this bar and he's there and all of a sudden like she's been drinking for like a few hours three hours and she's you know chatty and she's living her life or whatever and he comes up to her like pissed off because that's what the guys of these books do right so he's mad and he uh oh, i thought that was her for a second it's a dashing asian man so not her um yeah no so he comes up to her and uh he like is like come on i'm taking you home <laughs> because of course he is and he puts her in the truck or whatever and he drops off this the friend and then he goes and he's like I'm you know he's gonna go drop her off they live next door to each other they're freaking neighbors and he is like um she's like well you know I didn't even see you there I didn't even like know you were there or whatever he's like I was there the whole time I was right next to you the whole time I told you I would go there to meet my friend and I was there with my friend and I was waiting for you to turn and acknowledge me so that I could introduce you to him. And, and I, at first of all, I was like, oh yeah, you're going to introduce him to your friend because you like her, you like her, you little, you like her, you like her. And he was like pissed because she, he's like, you're so damn unobservant. And I'm like, I feel you because same. 
I'm also extremely unobservant. I could walk into this Smoothie King right now. There's one person in there. I could walk in, come back out. A cop could approach me and be like, hey, here's this photo. Is this the person that you were just standing next to for the last three minutes? And I'd be like, I couldn't tell you. They'd be like, well, was it a man or a woman? And I'd be like, uh, unclear. Were they 10 or were they 100? Unsure. Like, I do not pay attention to who's around me. Ever. I mean, I don't pay attention to who's around me unless I'm uncomfortable. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I just love that part of the book. That little... <laughs> he said, you're stupid and unobservant. She was like, sorry. And I was like, oh, that, it's me. <laughs> I'm her. <laughs> Which is fine, because as long as you have a guy there who's going to be observant, right? Enter, Lewis enters the chat. <laughs> Okay, he knows who's around me. He's looking at people. He's making eye contact. Thank you, sir Because I'm not gonna do it. I'm busy looking at what's on the menu right now. I don't want to know who's around me The hell no, hey, isn't that so? -and -so? I don't know who that is <laughs> What do you mean? I have no idea. Mind you, this is not something to be proud of You should be observant, but if you're not <sighs> Well Then we have another thing in common have you ever seen someone say they're going to a Pilates class and then afterwards their face looks like this? And then and then you wonder well, how bad could it have been that your face looks like that? And I was just telling Candace, I was like, the first 10 minutes that we were in there, I was like, I do not understand why people are sweating. Like what, y'all are so out of shape. <laughs> LOL, I'm y'all, okay? It's me. Um, that was actually really good though and you know what I loved is that I was doing a lot of movements and exercises and stuff that 100% I do incorrectly at home. Hey what's up we're at Aldi. I did my regular like early early morning grocery shopping this morning but I went to Meijer and I was filming for a reel which may or may not ever see the light of day but it slowed me down. So by the time I was done, Aldi was already open. And I was like, hmm, hmm, I think I'll just hit up Aldi. Knowing that I was coming to Aldi was smart because then I don't spend as much on stuff that I know is cheaper at Aldi. I don't, I don't buy it at, at Meijer. Even though I love Meijer, don't get me wrong. I love me some Meijer, but it's cheaper at Aldi. So we're gonna pop in there real quick. I'm just gonna take my little bag, which is perfect because then I'm really limited to literally what fits in the bag. So I just fill it up and then I empty it at the register and re refill it and that's it and normally it's like 40 bucks maximum so we're here for meat and something else the little meat and cheese packs meat and and and, and if anything strikes our fancy consider it consider it bought the other day one of you was like you gotta get the yellow dragon fruit and i was like we don't have that one and look at me a liar cheese that's for the grits Bell pepper, also for the grits. The bell peppers were $1.99 each at um, Meyer. This was only like $2.20 or something for a three pack. I will say the other ones were bigger, but I don't need huge bell peppers. So maybe it all evens out. Some of these, I already showed these to you. They're so freaking good, these little meat and cheese packs. I'll take some for lunch. I just eat them if I'm not feeling real hungry, but I wanna get something in, then I'll eat that. I grabbed these ones too, which I think I had one in there, but they had like gummy snacks, like fruit snacks or uh, Teddy Grahams. I think they were the Sargento brand. And I was like, I really don't need that. I just want like the meat and cheese. And that's what this one is. Fontina cheese. This is also for the grits. And then two things of sausage because they're like three bucks or something. I don't know, but we like it. So all good with me. That's all I got. This was like, I don't know, 30 bucks. And it took me like four minutes in that store. Is asparagus the one you're supposed to like keep in the jar with water? It must be, right? Oh, of course, because they're like standing upright at the store. I, I did slice the bottoms off so that these are ready to like be eaten um, or be cooked or whatever. So I don't have to like bust out the cutting board and whatnot. So do I, should I close, do I close it? No, not pickling it. I don't know. Um, trying to see if I pre-cut, chop, wash everything will be more likely to use it. So the onions, all of the bell peppers in little teeny tiny pieces. I tend to do them in strips 
but I never use them in strips. I always use them in little chunks. So I was like, quit doing it in strips, lazy. Just do it the right way. And then these, if we don't eat them, like eat this stuff right away, or if I think it's gonna go bad for some reason, I like these bags. These are like the little reusable like silicone kind of bags because then I just throw it in the freezer and they freeze in here and then boom, that's it. So these are, what are they called? Soybeans. So this is just like a little small one that I made last week. I made two and so we ate one and then this was the second one and I was like, well, we'll see if this will last us the second week without me having to freeze the bread because I don't want freezing it again because of the moisture and then when you freeze it, obviously that becomes kind of icy. It's not bad or anything, but it's just not ideal. It's not as good as well when it's like this before it's been frozen. And then my mom was like, oh, I'm gonna start making beeswax bags. <laughs> and she had heard that this was a good way to keep the bread. So she made this and she dropped it off to me. And so I had the bread in here. And then I was like, okay, let me finally cut it because we're officially out. And what I like is that because it's a little firmer, because like I said, it had been exposed to the air a little bit, um, it will soften up again. But anyway, I was able to make the slices so much thinner than I normally am. And like, not that we're complaining because a good thick piece of sourdough is very good, but this way it's just, you don't have to have so much and it's a little bit more like sandwich friendly. Let's make a wrap. I really like these wraps, specifically this brand, La Banderita Authentic Tortillas. So yeah, there's tortillas, but um, I just use it as like a gigantor wrap. I bought these pepperonis today that I was like, oh, those are going to be so good in a wrap. So maybe I'll like do some of those. And I did just buy some ham and some turkey from Meyer, but I had this from last week, so I should eat this first. Not that I want to, but I'm going to. My favorite lettuce ever. This brand is so good. It's called Gotham Greens. So good. They have one called Windy City Crunch. Delicious. If I had a big tomato, I would slice a big tomato, but I don't. Oh, but you know what I bought? this but i did buy this today closet baby look i'm not a pickle snob by any means but cloth and pickles they're refrigerated girl they're amazing they're the best i dated a guy once for three years <laughs> and the best thing i got out of that relationship was him telling me <laughs> that i needed to try cloth and pickles I don't make the rules, but hey man, I appreciate you, partner. I put in work for those. Okay. What's the layering process here? What do you start with? I always want to start. Ah! I always want to start with uh with lettuce. So I think I'm going to. I want a ton of lettuce. Like I want so much lettuce you think it's a salad. That's how much lettuce I want. I want it, I want the whole thing. I want all the lettuce. Is it gonna fit? I don't know. But this is how much lettuce I feel like eating right now. You know what else I've been craving is uh, cueritos. But like straight from the jar. Like I would love fresh ones, but where am I getting fresh ones, you know? So um, straight from the jar, I, man, I would, tear, I would tear them up. I would tear them up right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. The way I would tear it, ugh, I would tear them up. This cheese smells so bad because it smells like onions. Tastes good, but it smells really bad. It smells like an armpit. Speaking of, tomorrow I think I'm gonna test a new deodorant that Dove came out with. Not like a sponsor thing, I bought the deodorant. And uh, I think I'm gonna test it before I go to Pilates and I might make like a little video out of it. I wonder if that would be interesting. <laughs> we'll see. And I said speaking of because I smell like onions if I don't wear deodorant. Well, not if I don't wear deodorant, but when I wear natural deodorant or if my, you know, deodorant's just, it's just, I had a real rough day. Okay, Subway with the layering. Oh man, how am I gonna get the pickles in there, bro? Hey, why does this work? Why does this work? I don't wanna use a scientist or something. Why does this work? Oh! We're gonna dry them off a little bit because they're like juicy. They're like extremely juicy, and that's like too juicy for a wrap. All right. Go pow. Okay, let's do it. All right. Suddenly, I don't know how to wrap. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Down. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna put the side in a little bit. I mean, how far is it really gonna go in? Not that far. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna flip and then tuck, tuck, like my name is Tuck Everlasting and my family found the Fountain of Youth and I'm hanging out with Alexis Bladell or whatever her name is, I don't know how to say it. Did you know she's Mexican? She speaks perfect Spanish. It's crazy. Wait, maybe she's not Mexican. All I know is she speaks perfect Spanish. You know, have I done better? Yes, I have, but hopefully it tastes good. So crunchy. Ashley's calling me. I know what I'm doing for the next two hours. Spending some time here in my office because today I started listening to the bell jar. Remember I mentioned it the other day? And then I was just going through my comments and one of you was like, Sarah, didn't you read the bell jar? Like I read it because you had talked about reading it. And so I'm like, well, I don't lie about the books I read. So I'm like, okay, I must have read it. So then I go on Goodreads and I was like, okay, well, there's my review and there's the date. And this morning I had turned it on while I was at the store and within the first like two minutes, I was like, this feels so familiar. I keep, I keep thinking to myself, what does this remind me of? Like what, what book is like, it's just like eerily similar to this one. Turns out it's this one. So. Uh, I was cracking up, sitting there cracking up, like, isn't that funny? Like, I literally completely forgot that I read this. And Jane's like, when did you read it? When did you read it? Like, how long ago? And then I looked it up. It was less than a year ago. I read it last April. Bruh. <laughs> and Lewis is like, that's not funny. Like, that's frightening. And you know what? I have i don't want to, like, put a bad memory on myself, but I've never had, historically speaking, I've never had, like, a phenomenal memory. And I think part of the reason that I forgot and a lot of people ask, what do you do with the books when you're done reading them? They're here because a big thing for me is the memory of seeing it. It'll remind me of the story, right? So it wasn't until I started hearing it that I was like, oh no, that one, it like immediately rang a bell. Obviously I didn't know which bell was ringing, but I don't own this book. I never bought this book. And that's why in my brain, I didn't read the book, but I did. <laughs> Well, I didn't, I listened to it, um, but whatever, same, same thing. I understood the story, right? So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that on my shelf, okay? That's why, but that happens a lot. And I like to try to look at the upside. Um, I can pick up a book that I was absolutely obsessed with, like, for instance, The Spanish Love Deception. These are some of my favorite books. This, this stupid face tracker. This shelf right here, these are some of my absolute favorite books. So The Spanish Love Deception, me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Uh, the Hating Game, I really enjoyed. Walk to Remember. You Don't Have to Say You Love Me. And I can, unless it was me, I can almost guarantee you you've never heard anyone talk about this book because I have never heard anyone talk about this book. And I love this book. This is not the original cover, but this was like one of those print on demand books from Amazon. Um, but it's by a woman named Sarah Manning, Sarah with two R's. Read it over 10 years ago, I think, at this point, And just love it. I could. Re so the thing is, like, there are very specific scenes that I'm going to recall, but overall, I remember this book. <laughs> like, I remember the vibe. I remember that I loved it. That's what I get to remember about my books. I loved You Deserve Each Other, and I was cracking up reading this book, but I couldn't tell you every little bit of it. I can recall specific scenes from all of these books, but that's also a reason why I've reread A Walk to Remember dozens of times. I've reread Me Before You a couple of times. I've reread The Hating Game and The Spanish Love Deception. I'm just waiting because I know when I reread this, oh, she's just going to be my baby again. And look how big she is. She's a fatty. And I know I'm going to like reread uh, some of these Mariana Zapata books at some point because I, lo I freaking love them, dude. I love the vibes of the books. And so the upside for me is if, if you have a less than stellar memory, when you go back to read a book or watch a movie or a TV show, it's all funny again. The only reason I can remember so many jokes and so many clips from old TV shows is because I've seen them so many times. So that's the upside, okay? The upside of a less than stellar memory is you get to enjoy the things you love for the first time over and over and over again. Okay, so we're just gonna look at the upside. I started out by listening to the Pokemon theme, but now I'm on these sea shanties. Just dropped my mom off. We had a Pilates class.
this morning. It was her first one and only my second one. And I know I need to try out a bunch of the different instructors. This was the only one that was available, like, I think on Sunday, it's Tuesday. So uh, this was the only one that was available to take like two days later without the afternoon classes because I don't want to go in the afternoon. I've always been a, a morning person. So um, I don't know that it wasn't full because maybe this isn't like people's favorite instructor. I don't really know how that works or people just don't like this time slot. I'm not sure. But I enjoy the time slot. I was super early. Like I was on my way to Pilates 645. <laughs> like that, that's it for me right there. I like to do things super early. But um, it wasn't my favorite. And like I said, I've only done two. So the other one wasn't my favorite. Because I feel like, I don't know, it didn't like feel the same. So this just kind of reaffirms that I need to try, I think, a bunch of the instructors and then just get some that I like and try to book out doing that. So I still haven't signed up. I'm just paying per class. And if you drop into a class, it costs more than obviously if you had a membership. But at least I'm not like tied to anything yet. But I'm going to. I'm about to get locked in with one of these studios because um, I'm not going to keep paying extra <laughs> and I told my mom like I was like I'm gonna sign up for four classes a month and if it you know just so happens that I'm two two weeks in three weeks in and I'm like dang I wish I had more classes then I'm I'll, I'll upgrade my membership but if not mm -hmm, I'm sure all of us have wasted money on memberships and everything else many times in our lives so I'm trying to avoid that but I'm still me girl I'm still me I'm home actually let me put this in the fridge before I forget but I'm about to whip up a little something. I think we're gonna do a little toast. Does anyone else's avocado toast suck when they buy it like from somewhere else? Like you don't do it yourself. I feel like the toast to toppings ratio is always like absolutely bananas. Bananas. All right, cookie bears. So we're gonna make a fair life shake. I'm trying to keep these pretty simple. I was adding oats before and I do like the texture of it because it, it makes it like chunkier and I don't know, there's something about milky products and uh, protein shakes specifically that if I'm just tasting that kind of milky, like uh, it really, really, really grosses me out. Hi, Papa. He's sunbathing over there. So I mix this with a bunch of ice and a banana and then <laughs> I pour it over ice. Like I blend it with ice and a banana and then I pour it over ice and that way I can have it. Dun, 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 dun. I didn't mention it in the video, but I can eat eggs again. Not too many. They're still kind of gross, but I'm back on eggs. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. That's it for today, friends. Hope you guys are having a really, really fun time. Hope your weather's good. Where do you live? Like, how's the weather? Because let me just tell you over here, We've been looking at 60s, 60s? It was 70s in February. What was going on? I'm, just, I'm worried about the summer, but I'm gonna just take it as it comes and I'm excited for it. I am excited, I'm excited for spring. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for the clocks to change again? Unless you live in one of those special, special places where the clocks don't change. No, if you're asking me, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared yet. We got about a week, but I'm gearing up for it because spring is coming, gardening season is coming, a sneeze is coming. I gotta talk to y'all later.